tonight on Ghost Host Kitchen, we are going to make that spring classic, a carrot cake. Now this easy carrot cake recipe starts with grating your carrots. Now you can use a hand grater for this, or my preferred method is to use a small food processor. Spend the money, invest in one of these small food processors. You don't have to make a lot of dishes. You don't have to make a huge mess by getting out a large food processor and it will just do wonders in your kitchen. You're going to want to grate them very fine and make about three cups of them. We're going to use these in our cake. Now, once you have that, you're going to add about a cup of brown sugar and also a cup of white granulated sugar to a mixing bowl. And then you're going to mix those, add in some vegetable oil, as well as some salt and baking powder. You're going to mix that up, make sure it's well incorporated. And then you're going to add four lightly beaten eggs. Your batter is going to start to form at this point. You see it's going to be very moist. You're going to add those eggs in slowly. Let them incorporate into your batter. Now once you have your eggs beaten into your batter, you're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to add it in small batches, about half a cup each time. You don't want to just dump it all in at once. You don't want any lumps to form. You're going to let your mixer continue until everything is well incorporated. Another way of doing this for your salt and baking powder is to mix it in with the flour before you put it in. Or you can also use self-rising flour. Now, now you want to add in your carrots. These are the carrots we grated earlier. Get them in there. Get them mixed into the batter. Once they're well incorporated, you're going to add in about a cup and a quarter of pecans. Now, if you prefer to use walnuts, that's fine too. But we're using pecans. All right, now, you want to divide your batter into two eight inch baking rounds that have been previously sprayed. Uh, you can also uh, rub butter in there or flour them. Basically, you just don't want them to stick. We are doing a two layer cake, so you are going to need two separate baking rounds. Alright, make sure you get all that uh, carrot and nut goodness out of your bowl. Feel free to scrape that bowl. You want to make sure that the uh, batter is divided evenly between the two pans so that they will cook evenly in your oven. Now, once you have the batter into your pans, you want to put those into the oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. And then we, while those are baking, we can start to make the frosting. Our frosting starts with three tablespoons of butter and eight ounces of cream cheese. Both of these have been softened to room temperature. And we're just going to cream them together until they are mixed very well. 
once they're mixed we're going to add three cups of powdered sugar if you need a little bit of extra that's fine but you're going to put that powdered sugar in there and mix it all together until you get a nice smooth whipped looking frosting and then you're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and to give it a, a light and airy springy springtime flavor a teaspoon of lemon juice as well mix those in together and while we do this I will invite you to like subscribe and click the notify buttons so that you never miss an episode of Ghost Host Kitchen all right once your frosting's made your cakes are probably ready to come out of the oven you're going to let them cool in the pan for about 10 minutes and then you're going to turn them out onto a wire rack. Now here you're going to let them cool completely. You don't want them to be hot because you don't want them melting your frosting. So let them cool completely. This can take a, a little bit of time, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour, depending on uh, the temperature in your home. But if you look, you see that nice, beautiful golden brown color. How's that look? All right, now let's talk about decorating. We went uh, pretty basic here for decoration and uh, just used a plain decorating knife to put them, put the frosting on. If you want, you can even spread a little frosting on the bottom of your cake pan so that uh, it keeps the cake from moving. Alright, here you can see that we are frosting the cake. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here. I, I do not claim to be an expert in frosting things. Uh, there are many YouTube videos out there that can get into details of that. After you frost the top of the first layer, you add the second layer on top of it. and then finish frosting your cake. As you saw at the beginning, we added some decorations, some little sugar candies, a couple of jelly beans, but once you cut that cake, you get a beautiful and tasty treat. So thank you for joining us here at Ghost Host Kitchen, and we'll see you next time.